Here's an example of using that information to sketch the response of an underdamped system. Here we have roots uh, negative 0.5 plus or minus j times 3. And the first thing that we identify is that if we're interested in the exponential envelope, that we already know that we have a time constant of 2 from the real part of the root. And then the imaginary part tells us what the frequency is, what we call the damped frequency. And it has a value, omega d, Greek letter omega, of 3. And if you're interested in the period, that's going to be 2 pi over omega d. Uh, pi is about 3, so we can say that this is roughly going to be equal to 2. So capital T is referring to the period of the sinusoid, and tau is referring to the time constant of the exponential. Let's try to sketch some axes for our plot. We want to plot x of t versus t. We know that there's a final value, which is going to be 0. And we also know there's initial condition of 1 with a slope of 0. So we know that we, we need to start at 1 and, be, and have a, a line that's horizontal. And then what else do we know? Well, we have the information about our uh, complex exponential. So I should be able to sketch in a complex exponential envelope. Uh, on both positive and negative sides. And the time constant for this, of course, has to be equal to 2. So what I mean to say is that the initial slope of the exponential is headed towards uh, 0 at time 2. And then if I had drawn this a little bit more accurately, this would be about 0.37 uh, for our envelope. We also uh, fortuitously, we have a period of our sinusoid, which is also equal to 2. So what we might expect for our actual curve is something like this. It should be oscillating with a period of about 2 and go between the extremes of our envelope. And I'm going to label the period uh, right here. The period t is about 2 as well. So this shows us uh, a description of all the information that we need in order to explain how the system is going to respond.